Hello everyone, uh, this week's video will be one day late due to an unforeseen circumstance. My job has called mandatory overtime, and my overtime date is on Sundays, which is what I had aimed to be my normal release days. You will still get a video this week, it will be this Monday. Uh, I will be showing, hopefully, <clears throat> how to use that old Pentium 4 IBM I was building. To create a PF Sense rig or a free NAS rig, I will show installation procedures needed to make sure it runs right. I will also show each step of the build. Uh, it's currently behind me, back there. I'm pretty sure you can see it because I'm using my GoPro Hero to record this video. And uh, yeah, I had an exhausting night at work, so I apologize if I look like I'm out of it. Uh, but I have already done the pre-drills, the testing, everything on it works. The upcoming recorded video on Monday is me having it disassembled. I will not show that. But I will be doing the recording of the full assembly, testing, and installation. Come to find out, because my motherboard is that old, it does not natively support SSDs, which is what I was going to use to install the NAS OS or the PFSense OS just to see what I could do. I even tried installing Windows 7. It ran beautifully on, on packing and everything, installation, but about 15% into setting everything up after installation, it crashed, would not start. It kept giving the error system installation interrupted. Please restart installation from disk. So I did some more research, come to find out, any SATA 1 port, I don't know, 478 board just about, will not allow SSDs because the board's BIOS does not have AHCI. Hope I said that right. Uh, I don't really particularly change that option at all on any motherboard, so I might have gotten that uh, particular one wrong. I know it's those letters, I just don't remember the exact order. Anyways, uh, I will be ordering a PCI, not PCIe, or PCIX, a PCI add-on card that has SATA 2 uh, support on it and a natural BIOS for AHCI. Again, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. had an exhaustion that at work and I don't write scripts for this. Um, that will allow me to hopefully use an SSD. I will post a secondary video, which will be labeled Part 2, and showing that whether or not it would work. Uh, once again, I fun my own stuff, and I actually enjoyed this build. It was relaxing for me. My apologies about the interruption. Uh, that was my dad calling to ask me a question. Um, anyways, I also, as you can see, bought new lights. They are pure white, which will allow me to show better recordings for when I do more upgrades to my network or computer hardware, like my monitor setup. Uh, or, uh, hell, anything that's done in here. I also bought studio lights for when I do the recordings out in my living room so that you all may see what I show you better. I realize some of the videos are grainy, even with better camera equipment. Uh, this, uh, studio equipment cost me about a hundred bucks, but right now it is on sale on Amazon. If you want, I will post a link in the description on where you can buy it. It is on sale for about $55. It does have Prime shipping. Yay for Prime. And uh, I also bought a bunch of white light bulbs. The ones up there are CFL. The ones that I bought for the studio lights are LEDs. Uh, true daylight or something like that. They're as white as this. And, uh, well, that's all. Once again, this is another video from Eternals Information Technology Group, and I hope y'all don't mind this video. I will be starting a video vlog on everything I do. Uh, if you like my channel, subscribe. I will do my best to post one video every one day, once a week. Hopefully it will increase to more than one day. Uh, it will hopefully be two or three days, depending on how things pick up at work, allow me to buy items or finding old technology on the side of the road or on eBay. Uh, and I said goodbye already, so this time it's for real. I hope you all have a good day. 
good night, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, well, goodbye, y'all.